Hi everybody, Ben here. Thanks again for tuning in. Well, a few things to cover off on today. The real estate world seems to be off to a bit of a wobbly start at the moment as we start to notice more traditional numbers of homes entering the marketplace for sale. And this is off the back of a couple of years of record low supplies out there for buyers to choose from. Now it's probably still a little bit too early to predict which direction the market's gonna travel in for the balance of this year. But over the last eight weeks, we definitely have seen some interesting things for us to dissect and go through. Now, when we're talking about the real estate market, we tend to lean towards the clearance rate as being a barometer of performance. Now, over the last couple of weeks, the performance has been averaging around 70%, which is a great clearance rate. But if we really wanna hone in on some of these numbers and put that clearance rate under the microscope, it's actually telling a very different story. Now, the clearance rate is a collection of data where we get a phone call on Saturday afternoon from Domain.com and also RP Data Core Logic. They call the agents to find out how their auction scheduled for that Saturday have performed. Now, if we really look at those numbers, on a Saturday, there's a big chunk of homes which are scheduled for a day of auction that may have sold prior. Now, for most good agents that have worked in changing markets before, they've already adapted to this marketplace and you'll find that there's a good portion of those homes selling before that scheduled auction day. Now that is a result that's being recorded for that clearance rate for that day. And we're finding that it's about 30% of those homes on that day being recorded as sold prior. Then there's also another segment of the market which aren't being recorded at all for a number of different reasons. Either the auction passed in and the agent is still continuing to negotiate into the early hours of the following week, or maybe it just passed in with no result whatsoever and the agent didn't want to record those numbers. It's interesting because those are the stats that we really want to see in that bulk clearance rate for the weekend. And then the balance of those results are recorded results and that's traditionally where we'll find the clearance rate falling out. So whilst it says 70%, it's probably a little bit truer to suggest that around this local area, it's hovering somewhere around that 50% zone. Now these statistics are pretty consistent with what we're seeing out on the front line. What we have noticed is there's been a number of impressive homes launched onto the market in the last couple of weeks. And the homes that actually ran their calls all the way through to the auction day turned up, they had registered bidders and they didn't actually have a bid whatsoever. Now again, some people might say that this is a reflection of the market, but if you've got people there at the auction registered and there's no bids, I dare say it's probably down to the performance of the agent more than anything else. After digesting all of that information, the market is still good. Whilst there is definitely some key elements of those clearance rates and what's happening out and about, good homes, priced well in good streets, handled correctly, presented correctly, are still selling well. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been fortunate enough to maintain a clearance rate hovering around 90% internally for the CNH network. But again, this just comes down to obviously management, correct pricing from the first day, and ensuring that there's complete open lines of communication with the buyers. Now out and about in the community, it is art month again, and this year we are again running our design competition for our sold stickers. For children that want to enter, please visit any one of our offices right throughout the inner west, or you can also find some of the entry forms down at local cafeterias in the area. Well, that's it for me. Thanks again for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you out and about. Bye for now.